you can see the camera's pointing behind me and at the light and the boards. And on the LCD here, you see all of these weird colors. Well, these are giving me information about my exposure. Anything that's red is being clipped in the highlights. So that's data that's lost. Anything that's yellow is about to be lost. And on the other end of that, anything that's royal blue is about to be lost in the shadows, and anything that's purple is being lost. And then we have colors in between. So how do you make sense of all of this? How does this help me get exposure? Well, it works with the whole middle gray thing. This is a middle gray card. You've heard me talk about this. It's from the Ansel Adams zone system, the 11 zone system. Middle gray is in the center and it reflects 18% back. False colors work in your camera by your camera analyzing light reflected back to it, all right? So here's how you get proper exposure with false colors. If I were to put a middle gray card where my actor is gonna be and point it at camera like this, if I could get this card green in my false colors by adjusting my lights, the top layer of the exposure stack, then middle gray is exposed correctly. And this is specific to the Pocket 4K. Other false color systems have different values. But on a Pocket 4K or 6K, etc., if middle gray is green, then your exposure is good. Now something else you can do with that, you can expose to the right a little bit. What is that? Well, it's overexposing by like one stop of light. And the reason to do that is you can pull your image a little bit out of the, the noise in the shadows. And then when you're color grading, you can bring that brightness back down. And so you've still got an image that's properly exposed in post-production, but you've lost some noise that you might have had if you had middle gray green. So you can experiment with that, but I'll typically overexpose just a little bit, even if I'm using a light meter, if it says I'm, I need to be at five, six in my aperture, if I can fudge aperture a little, I'll open up a little more. Now, here's something to know. When you're exposing to the right, you can have middle gray as pink in your false colors. So if middle gray is green or pink, your exposure should be okay. As handy as this is, and as good as the implementation of false colors is with these cameras, I still prefer a light meter. Why is that? Well, because a light meter monitors exposure a different way. So this is all about light reflected back to your camera. So I have to have a middle gray card or I have to learn to spot middle gray in nature on my set, etc. Or I need to have my actors there and then learn what skin tones need to be in my false colors. Whereas a light meter measures the light falling on it. Okay, so I can hold this where my actor is going to be, take a light reading, and dial in exposure before anyone shows up. That means my exposure is ready before my actors get to set, and then I have more time during production to get the takes that I need. And so time is your most valuable asset during production. So anything you can do to save time is worth its weight in gold. So yes, do I use false colors? Sometimes I do, but the thing I use the most is a light meter for getting proper exposure. Hopefully this makes sense. If you have any questions, of course, post in the community. I will see you in another production lesson very soon. <laughs>